you being so rude to the Amazon man? There are like three boxes. He's only here like every day. Every single day. You're not being me, look like that tail wagon. All right, we gotta wait for him to leave. Cause you're so aggressive. You make people think you're all ferocious. I mean, you are ferocious, but. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog channel. Um, so I'm actually, as I record this, I took a break from recording Tuesday's vlog to come out here and the Amazon man showed up. And what's Tuesday's vlog about, Doug? Amazon. But this stuff isn't like, just like home stuff. It's not like toxic free stuff. It's all workout gear um, for a haul I have. And then I have some decor in here. So let me go grab it. And this is my tripod, by the way, that you guys usually are sitting on. Okay, really odd setup, but I literally have you guys sat. I wish there was like a medium sized tripod. Not a full length, not a small, but like a medium. Um, you guys are sitting upside down on the blender. So I'm not going to show you everything because a lot of the stuff is for like, I'll do a dedicated video on my main channel very soon. But I'll show you some stuff. So I actually work out at my mom and dad's house because we're next door neighbors. And so um, I've, over the course of time, moved a lot of my stuff to my parents' house. And then there's times when I just like, it's not the day that my mom and I work out and I still want to work out and all my stuff's down there and I don't want to go down there. So I have been buying some more. So I got these like really thick workout bands. Like these are, that is thick. And then I think they get, I think the black is actually the weakest. So they're really cool. Hold on, let show you. Got a black too, but they smell terrible. Definitely need to be washed before I be putting these things on. So. Gray, pink, black. Got some leggings. Oh, these are really cute. Look at those. Those are definitely gonna fit very well. Allie. Girlfriend, the box isn't even open yet. Quit trying to like steal it for your own games. Okay. This is not a workout thing. So it's this really pretty sweater. Oh, that is adorable. And it's like got a cable knit and then it's got a little fringe all over the sleeves. Oh my gosh, this actually got mixed reviews. I love it. Got a pair of sneakers. Oh. oh yeah, freaking love those. Definitely needed a new pair of black sneakers. All right, last thing. Oh my gosh, they put this one bowl in this whole big box. It is unnecessary. Oh, maybe it's not, it's kind of a big, a big bowl. Oh, that's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Oh, but it's gorgeous. Oh, it's super pretty. This, so I got this to make really, really big pretty spring floral arrangements in. So like I learned the, uh, there's like a TikTok tape trick. So you like put a bowl, like a small bowl of water inside and then you tape like a grid across a bowl and then you actually end up using less flowers to make your arrangements. So got this like hammered. So I'll link this for you guys, but I gotta finish editing the video um, for tonight, so. God, oh, so much mess. Hey guys, okay. So I don't know why I'm whispering. I don't have to be quiet because Sam's playing video games. He should be quiet because I'm vlogging, but he's not. So I'm making dinner, about to start actually. So I'm finishing up the rice now. It's a lot of freaking rice, oh my God. Okay, so tonight's dinner is very simple. We are just doing brown rice with zucchini, mushrooms, and onions sauteed in a pan with soy sauce. It is so easy. By the way, I don't think I've said it. This sweatshirt and these joggers, I'm wearing a small. So I'm gonna link them below for you guys. 
size down one, maybe even two. This is a small. Tonight, we are tackling a task that I have not wanted to tackle for a very long time. And it is closet clean out. So this is all the stuff I'm getting rid of. I know it seems like super, um, I always tell people like I get rid of stuff a lot, it seems really wasteful, but it's hard. So like for instance, let's talk about like these shoes, okay? These shoes most likely will not be in stock next summer. There probably won't be a shoe similar to them because they're from Walmart and it's very rare that Walmart, especially a shoe in this style, they restock the exact same thing a year later. That's just kind of how it goes. And so things like shoes honestly probably wasn't a good example because I do feel like shoes are around a little bit longer, but they just go out of style very quickly, especially boutique stuff. So I have things that I like love so much but I don't wear because I can't link. And that's just part of like my job basically. So I have been tasked, well, I've tasked myself with getting rid of a bunch of this stuff and it has been a nightmare. And by the way, I am in a robe because I am self tanning. Um, oh, so that's that. I've gotten rid of a good chunk of stuff. And before I get questions, cause I do get these pretty frequently as is. I do not sell my clothes. One, it's just not a task I wanna take on. Like it is so much to sell your clothes and it just takes up so much time that I really don't have. But also like I love giving my stuff away. So like I, it goes to friend, it goes to family first, friend second, and then anything that's left over gets donated because I know when like my family, like I absolutely love it when to this day I will see someone wearing something that I know I gave them. Like it just makes my heart so happy. So um, I don't sell anything, which I do get questions about, but also I cut tags out of everything. So it's like a little bit weirder to try and sell that. But like I also have to get rid of some stuff. So like these Fabletics tennis shoes, they have like no soles on the inside the bottom of them are very run down i freaking love these tennis shoes they're like some of my favorites so i want to keep them but I, i'm not going to because they're just they don't they're not comfortable to run in anymore i mean they are, i think they might even be older than three years honest to god they might be four or five at this point i have like handbags i gotta get rid of oh i avoid this like the plague because it just is so 
so overwhelming to like go through all this stuff and then i have to go through it and like separate it out and um organize it fold it get everything like it's just it's a lot <clears throat> that's another thing like if a shoe isn't um gonna be sold by a store um but i still wear it a lot i'll just keep it anyway and i'll just link a similar option but that doesn't happen that much because i do prefer to wear things only that you guys can shop it's just part of the job okay so i've got lots of leggings here i also need to get go through my regular leggings drawer so let's see i love these still wear those these don't fit anymore in fact i used to just throw away all my shoes because shoes are not something i'm sorry i don't think you should donate shoes i just don't I think it's gross um and i say this because my husband is a runner so he has runner's feet and like he will have shoes that are in great condition but he just doesn't wear shoes like oh i'll donate them and i'm like please don't put that disrespect on somebody <laughs> please don't give them that evil so we do not donate shoes here just ain't ain't a thing these are still wear oh great my second camera battery's dying lovely zeus what you doing? Unnecessary. Hello friends. Happy Monday. So today is MLK Day. So Sam is off of work and it also happens to be his birthday, which I am so happy about. He is 25. Um, he is 10 months younger than me, but by the looks of his aging, he looks about 10 years younger than me. Like, he just, it's so annoying, but everyone always says, like, he looks so much younger. Like, there was one time I was at dinner with my parents, and Dad goes, he doesn't look that much younger than you. Like, four years. I could have snapped my daddy's neck. So, but I mean, Sam gets it honest. His mom looks exactly the same. Like, she looks 10 years younger than she is. So, anyway... It's his birthday, he is still aging. Uh, but for his birthday, he actually wanted to go mountain biking. So he is currently mountain biking with his friends for the next couple hours. Um, I'm gonna get some work done, and then tonight we are going to go eat dinner, just him and I. Um, I'm just so excited to spend some time with the birthday boy. I've already given him his gifts and everything, so it's been a really good, like, chill, lazy day. And it, like, seriously, his birthday always falls on MLK Day weekend just because of the date of it. Um, so like he always has off or like a long weekend or something like that around his birthday. So it's like really cool that we like always get to celebrate his birthday. Um, so we're like pretty used to him having like the day off on his birthday. Um, but anyway, I'm about to make a smoothie that is so delicious. I made it yesterday. I shared it on my Instagram story, but I'm going to just like put it, I'm going to share it here um, when I make it and I'll put the recipe in the description bar. I definitely think I'm going to try to make it a different way today because it calls for frozen mixed veggies or I'm sorry, frozen mixed fruit. And I don't know if it's just my blender or what, or just like how frozen the fruit is, but it took a minute yesterday to get all the fruit blended up. So that's what I'm gonna do, is I think I'm gonna blend the fruit first. Also, you guys, I cannot stop eating these freaking things. I have had like three of them today. They're, that's terrible, it's like three shots of espresso. Um, I mean, they're really good for you. They're these gluten-free Verb Energy bars. This is the salted peanut butter and it has as much caffeine as a espresso, like a shot of espresso, but only 90 calories. So, I'm pretty jacked today and that's terrible. Not supposed to do that, but whatever. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna try something a little different today. What I'm gonna do is, it's just these four ingredients and then ice. I'm going to add in the frozen fruit. This is the one that I'm using from Walmart. And then I'm gonna add in the orange juice and I'm gonna kind of blend that up first and then I'll add in my green powder and my fruit, uh, yogurt. Let's just try this. Okay. I'm gonna do the one cup of OJ.
All right, definitely not the prettiest drink when you add the green stuff in, but it's really, really good. So, um, and if you wanted to drink this without the green stuff, you totally could, and it would be good for you. It'd be about 30 calories less, but you're getting so many good nutrients from that green powder, so it's worth it. The straw has a permanent stain on it from my lipstick. Anyway, so I'll link this cup for you guys. It actually comes with a lid. God, that is, that is good. That is the only way I've been able to stomach this stuff. It's pretty aggressive. It's the mm, a, amazing grass green superfood. I just keep calling it the green superfood. Um, two full servings of fruit and veggies. It's got wheatgrass, barley grass, alfalfa, spirulina, broccoli, spinach, pineapple, carrots, like lots of good things in this. So um, since my New Year's resolution was to add more greens to my diet on the days I'm not actually going to be eating greens, or at least I don't know if I'm going to be eating greens because um, we're going out to dinner. I make sure that I put this in some form of smoothie or drink or something and it's aggressive, but you cannot taste it in this drink. Oh my gosh, I don't know why. I've never had a, like, a mixed fruit smoothie before. This is freaking delicious. All right guys, it's this cutie's birthday. So, he hates birthdays, which really upsets me because I've told him before. I'm like, so are you gonna, are we gonna raise our kids to hate their birthday? And he's like, no, our kids' birthdays are gonna be a big deal. I'm like, okay, then we're gonna celebrate your birthday. See what a grump he is? I'm not a grump. You are totally a grump about your birth about your birthday? Yes, you are. I like really suck. I literally thought to myself, take the camera inside, vlog dinner. And then I didn't. Sam's daggum truck over there. When's the last time you cut the grass? Don't you worry about what I do. <laughs> Same about me. Oh. I'm asking the questions here. I legit feel like a freaking bowling ball. We add an appetizer, main course, or entree, whatever you choose to call it, and dessert. And I just like can feel myself falling asleep. <laughs> ah, you did so good! Okay, ready? Get it! Ow, that one actually hurt. It's supposed to be easy. Be easy, be easy. Good boy! You did so good, Doug! All right really dark in here but now that these skunks are gone it doesn't smell like skunks so I'll take that hey Allie oh the light's so bright pretty girl he's so pretty oh he's so sweet all right everyone pull your shirt down <laughs> Sam's looking at his belly too we both ate a lot tonight one final happy birthday for the birthday boy. He's officially how old? 25. Old. It's okay, I'll be 26 in a couple months. <laughs> but, say, okay. This is my life. Look at it, he's so happy! He's so happy! Oh my god! Doug it is. Oh! Anyway, we're gonna go play with Doug. See you in the next vlog.